Hey guys, welcome back. So, although I am hands free, this is going to be quite an informal vloggy style video. I am basically, finally, getting to organise my makeup in my new dressing table. I am so excited. Um, this video like that we built this in would have gone up quite recently um so if you haven't already seen that then i'll try and remember to leave a link down below or on a card somewhere um but yeah basically i'm organizing my makeup looking at it now there kind of looks like a lot but i know there isn't a huge amount now and um, there is still stuff that i think i need to get rid of so i might do a little bit of that in here so it might be a little bit of decluttering but not the main kind of premise of this video is to just tidy it up because I'm going to show you the before just now. So I have the Malm, if you're wondering, um, from Ikea and this is what we're working with today. It has absolutely no order because as soon as I built this I literally just put everything in. Um, so yeah. There's a, that is the only brush in there, to be fair. I literally put that in there today, so I can take that out now. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm working with. I have a couple of my little basket-y things. These are from Poundland quite a while ago, so I don't know if they do still do them. But I'm just going to give them a quick wipe out with some diluted Zaflora. Um, and then take all this out and get it organised. Apologies for the lighting. I know it's just really obnoxious, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. So I'm gonna stay out of shot. Hopefully keep keep the brightness down here. Um, and yeah, I hope it's not too annoying. So basically I'm going to separate everything up into these. So I'm gonna go base, eyes, and kind of finishing stuff. So blush, highlight, that kind of thing. Um, and then see how we go and kind of declutter along the way. Okay, so everything is organised. I didn't really declutter as I went because um, I think the things that I feel like I want to declutter, I want to try them out a couple more times. Um, like the Wet n Wild photo, what's it, photo focus foundation. I did a first impressions on this um, a little while ago and I didn't really like it. More to do with the smell. So I don't know. I really want to just try it again and see because I don't know who I can give this to. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't exactly smell like it did before, but it kind of smells a little bit like paint. So that's not ideal. Um, so yeah, I might give that a go maybe tomorrow and see how I go along with that. Um, and then I think otherwise I'm all good. I've got a couple of powders. I've got a couple of foundations. Um, I've got one that I cut open today and one from another bottle that I've like decanted. Um, I do need to do that with this body shop one as well, although it's slightly too dark anyway, so I'm not too fussed about doing that immediately. 
I can't have all these stood up, so I don't know why I'm doing this. I've got like my eye primers, because they're kind of what I put on at the foundation stage. So I've got them in there. That, fan, that concealer's almost run out. So yeah, and then I've got one face primer that I need to try and use. Yeah, I think the only thing about this, I might have to take the powder out and put it with the finishing stuff because it's just not going to work, is it? The lightning drops and then some like highlighty type things. So that's good. And then I've got eye stuff, so I've got liners, mascara, um, some like single potted type things and my fake lashes which by the way if you've seen the pot um, I have said it before that they aren't matte lashes they're eyelier lashes but they're just in a really good plastic container so it means they never get squished when I'm traveling so that's all that one so that's all that one and then this one like you say is the finishing stuff so I've got highlighters blushes and all of that kind of thing and I'm gonna put my powder in here as well got one loose one pressed these should stand up hopefully One. I've never actually used this. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Um, I don't know what you call it. Um, Glow Illuminating um, Blush and Bronzing Palette. I got this for Christmas last year from Kerry, so I really need to give it a go. Um, of course, typical like YouTuber. I didn't want to use it until I took pictures of it, and honestly, I'm never gonna do that. So it's just gonna go instead. Oh. Another, I forgot another one. The Charlotte Tilbury. Is it? What is it even called? I don't know. Uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, Elle didn't like the contour of this, so she gave me that. So I can put that in there. Yeah, that's rather a lot. Like I'm not someone who even uses this much blush like on a daily basis. So that is a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's that. And then most of everything else is palettes. So I need to try and find a way to store these. I have one backup brow pencil, so I'm gonna put that in with my like, beauty backups. That's another one. And then this is a CC cream, I believe. It's a Korean, uh, oh no, BB Cushion Compact. I do really need to try this out. I feel like I did open it, which is really annoying because these kind of things don't last very long. Um, okay have a look I did so I'm gonna have to try that and see if that's any good so I'm gonna leave it out of the box and get rid of the box why haven't you go back in oh yeah so we need to find somewhere to store these palettes another highlighting one Okay, so yeah, I need to store, find some way of storing the old palettes, but I'm going to put everything in for now. Okay, so I'm happy with all of that as it is, and then I've got a couple of sprays, so two setting sprays and a random like faceness thing from the body shop. So I might just pop them down the side there, just to kind of remind me that I've got them. And um, yeah, so palettes, how am I gonna do this?
Okay, so I have finished and I think this is a good way of like storing specifically palettes because then I can actually see what I've got and when I go to put eyeshadow on, which is a very irregular occurrence, um, I can actually see what I've got and go from there. Um, so I'm gonna show you. So like I said, I have got like my little setting spray bits just down here um, and some other sponges. I really don't like this Real, Real Techniques one. I think one of them is okay, like it dampens absolutely fine and the other one doesn't and I just don't understand. Um, and then I've got two of uh, the Beauty Blender Micro Mini thingy-doos. And then this one is base kind of stuff, so primer, um, including eye primer, some like things I would put on under foundation, foundation and concealer. Uh, this one is like blush, bronze and highlight, which there is rather a lot of, um, and these two are my face powders. This one is eyes, so there is like eyeliners, mascara, eyebrows, lashes, um, and lash glue, and then like some single potted kind of things. And then this is how I'm storing my eyeshadow palettes. Now this may change, I'm not sure, but I think, like I say, for now, it's nice to just see everything, see what I've got, see what I'm working with, especially like with these ones that you can see through the packaging, because then I can see what colors there are, um, which is awesome. Obviously I know more or less what's in these two um, and this one. Uh, so yeah, that's how I'm gonna work my makeup for now. If you're wondering where my lipstick is, it's in this little Muji set of drawers here. So I've got like liquid lips in that one, and then like regular lipsticks, lip liners, and lip balm in that one, which I do need to go through because I certainly don't wear all of them. To be honest, I don't wear lipstick a lot of the time. Right, so that concludes my organization of my makeup. This obviously may change. I'm sure you'll see if I do an updated kind of like makeup collection -y video. Um, I might, like I say, declutter this again at some point because um, I'm sure there's things, especially in the blush and highlight section, um, that could probably go. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see like an updated kind of makeup collection -y video, um, like proper, like more in depth, then let me know in the comment section um, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.